to pay them when the money is in your hand or even before it gets in your hand by making the employer, the bad guy, taking the money out of your out of your paycheck before you get it. So that so so that means that the tax the taxes are supposed to be the form 1040 should simply be a reporting requirement and not something that results in either a refund or money that is due meaning it would be similar to payroll taxes if you've dealt with payroll taxes they're the same concept in that you pay the taxes when you pay the employee you know you pay the taxes during the the pay periods and whatnot and then you file the form 941 usually on a quarterly basis as opposed to a yearly basis but the 941 is just a summary so you're just saying hey look this is how much payroll taxes i owed this is how much i already paid you therefore i don't have anything due and i don't have anything refunded normally that's the way the payroll tax works if the payroll tax is working correctly for the for the income tax you can't do that because it's too complex there's no way there's no way that you're going to get your withholdings correct exactly it's impossible because the tax code is too complex so what are you what are you going to do then well the whole system is set up so that you overpay so when you fill out your w-4 to get withholdings on your wages the the whole system is set up generally to overpay and and that serves a couple purposes for the government number number one that means that they're more likely to get their money of course and and that also means that it's likely that you're going to get a refund at tax time because you have overpaid and that makes the government look good right so it looks like the bad guy is the employer who keeps taking your money out of your paycheck every every pay period that jerk and then the good guy is the government that gives you a refund on the <laughs> on, April, on tax day the, the 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 government comes in and saves you like robin hood everything's flipped on its head i thought robin hood stole from the tax man and then gave to the back to the people that earned the money no it's the other way it's the other way according to the ira the tax man is robin hood and the okay but so that so that's why you shoot for a refund you're you're shooting for a refund not because you just want a refund uh because you're shooting for a refund so you don't get hit with the stick and i'm going to repeat this multiple times what's the goal of income tax not to get hit with the government stick what is the government stick penalties and interest right hopefully beyond that jail time or whatever but <laughs> generally the stick is penalties and interest they're going to hit you with that a lot of times before they before usually <laughs> they go further than that right so so that's what we're so we're trying to overpay to avoid getting hit with the stick and that's what we do that's why we get a refund otherwise we would like to be exactly because what would happen then is we would get more of our money sooner meaning we get bigger paychecks if we lower our withholdings but if we increase our withholdings we're going to get smaller paychecks but we're less likely to get hit with penalties and interest at tax time the whole system is generally set up to overpay the taxes so that the IRS is more likely to get their money and be able to give you at least a small refund at uh tax time okay tax refund or tax due so that's going to get us then of course to whether or not you owe money or not which is going to be the bottom line for this tax uh period and then of course based on this information the tax calculation you then think about what's going to happen next year how do I how do I make sure next year's withholdings are sufficient so that I don't get hit with the stick of penalties and interest